Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch your record on Wednesday. Um, background's a mess. I can't help it. Real off. <laughs> I'm sitting here at my table because I was sewing buttons on my little sweaters I made from Baby June. Aren't they cute? <laughs> um, finally got the buttons on there. See me. Longer than I'd like to admit. Got my craft cart sitting here. I need to clean it off again. I got some random finished objects sitting on it that I need to put somewhere. Anyways, what I'm working on today, I started working on it last night actually. Um, I'm working on two things. One is my pullover, but it's in the living room because I haven't actually worked on it today. But I started this last night. This was a gifted to me pattern kit and it came in a little bag. It's a rattle kit. Here's the picture. It's a box. It's from Mary Maxim. And uh, I started working on it last night. And boy, it's kind of hard because um, the stitches are so little. There's the right side. I'm using a little tiny C hook, <laughs> which I don't usually use. And this is also like a, um, it's like a generic one. It's their, it's got their brand name on it, but it's like a boy hook, which I don't usually use that kind. I like the pointy ones like Susan Bates, but I am using this one. I got this much done. <laughs> I worked on it a little bit last night and then a little bit today. So I'll work on it more today. I got the top of the head done, <laughs> or the back of the head. It's actually the back of the fox's head and coming forward. And uh, looks like there's probably some color work here with the white. I'm not sure, I haven't gotten that far. But yeah, I'm working on that. Got the little ball yarn here, little tiny hook. <laughs> and uh, this kit did come with everything you need for the rattle. Now, I'm just keeping it in the bag. So there's a little handle. And then the white yarn for the face, the black yarn for the ears, nose, and stitching on the eyes. Little, really compact bag of stuffing. And the rattle. I like to have a bunch of these. I need to go look on Amazon and see if they have these. It'd be cool to have these make a bunch of rattles. It also came with a yarn needle. So that's cool that it came with everything that you need to make the kit. It was gifted to me by Sonia. She she left in the comments that she was the one to do it. So thank you, Sonia. I'll that back in the bag so I don't lose it. But yeah, look how tiny those stitches are. I usually use like a, uh, a F or G or H hook. That's like my go-to hooks. Um, so this is a C. This is really small. But it's going to look good. It's going to be pretty big. I just finished increasing. So that's the size of the back of the head. And then I will be, I got to do, um, it was like eight rounds of just solid crochet, you know, to make the head. <laughs> so I'm going to be working on that here in just a little bit. But it's tight. It's hard to uh, work with. I'm not used to working with little tiny uh, hooks. But let's see here. The creator of this pattern is Kelly St uh, St Stopasoli. Stopasoli. Um, let's see here. The yarn, I don't know, it doesn't say what kind of yarn it is, but it feels cottony. It feels like cotton. And the colors are numbers. <laughs> That's always boring. <laughs> uh, it is a size C hook. I think that's about all the important stuff. But this kit, you can also, like this line has other ones too. There's a giraffe, a hippo, an elephant, and a bear. So that's cute. I'm excited to get it done though. So that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are working on if you started any new projects. Uh, let's see here. Today is the 29th. So I'd like to have this done before New Year's because <laughs> uh, I don't want to carry over too many whips. So right now my only whips is this and the pullover that I started the other day. And it's, I'm working on one sleeve. I finished the body of it and I'm working on the first sleeve. And then I got to do the second sleeve. Um, and then the cuffs and then that's it. Uh, I did have to alter that pattern a little bit. Um, lengthwise. I'll talk about that when I'm talking about that actual pattern. But it seems like I do that every time with Sorella patterns. So I don't know if it's, uh, it's probably me. <laughs> but, um, that was come out huge. So it's probably my gauge. But oh well. I'm not worried about it. Just let me know in the comments what you guys are working on. Feel free to share any links to people or patterns or just their pattern names or whatever so we can look them up and see what you guys are making. And also feel free to um, go to the Facebook group and share photos of your whips because I like seeing stuff like that too. And if you don't use Facebook, you can always email me uh, pictures of your whips so I can see them. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to hop off here and work on this a little bit and then work on my pullover a little bit. And then, I don't know, maybe if I get these done, I can, I want to start a scrap blanket. So 
I might do that. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video later today. Vlog. <laughs> Bye guys.